Hello everyone, it's Tefnut Light. Lovely to see you all. Happy April 2019. We have some interesting energies in store, and I hope you like my fluffy bunny hoodie. There is a lot going on, and happy new month of April 2019, because this month is super powerful. And I decided to do the reading during the day. Normally I do them at night, but for some reason. This is a very strong union into action reading for this month, and we have a lot of energy coming up right now. We did a lot of clearing in March, and I'm sure you all felt it. I actually had to take some time to do a bit of resting, uh, feeling much better now. So this month now we're like ready to rock it because we just had the spring equinox which is the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine in balance. And I did that, I think that's the last reading I did, I believe, in terms of before this one. And we're getting ready for a new moon in Aries. So we had the full moon in Libra, which was a full powerful one. Oh my God, full on power. How have your dreams been? Been Oh my goodness, my dreams have been so interesting and so intense. And so many symbols coming up. And I really feel like this union into action is we're both Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine and at. We're getting ready for the Lion's Gate, but April is going to be a huge, huge, huge transformation. I'm really feeling this. So take action this month into your dreams, into your desires, towards your union. Don't like completely like just go woeful in. If you want to do that, you can do that. We're in Aries season. It's a new beginning and we're having a new moon on the 4th. So it's a 4-4 portal, which is the infinity. I'm just feeling this urge in my body and this is why I'm doing this reading right now and this is the solar energy is really coming through from the heart chakra. Um, there are so many synchronicities and symbols popping up right now from the divine masculine to the divine feminine, from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. I'm going to talk about the middle part of the reading and I'm also going to share about the energy. It's just, we're going to flow as it tells me to go. And that's just how it is. And that's how this month is going to be. So just get ready for it because here we come. <laughs> so the middle row of the spread has all cup cards. We have and we have two outer energies, which I pulled for this, the energy in general, like this is an orb of union right in front of us. Okay. And we're going to navigate it as, cause we're entering this portal. Okay. There's a portal. It's a little dark looking, but it's actually like a wave. We're, we're entering this wave in the portal of union. And here we have like that beautiful full moon and there's this wave of union and this rush of union. That's how it feels like in my body. We're entering this portal, okay? It's all about the emotions, the feelings, the empowerment, the the love, the the mission, the globe, the world, the universe, the cosmos. It's like all becoming this one beautiful thing right now. And March was like wrapping things up and now we're like unfolding all of it and we're just diving into it. Okay, that's how this is like. Pfft. If you see Aries energetically, it's literally just the diving in and going for it like the fool. But we have cup cards here and we have six major arcana cards in this reading. So it's absolutely amazing. I'm going to bring more light in. There we go. Okay. So the first card of the outer energy, which is going to be this alignment through the divine feminine and the divine masculine and into the union. So we're starting from the outer into the middle and going outwards because it's going to connect. And that's why I want to start this with this energy of we're entering this portal of the union. Okay. And we're at the intention of this reading and this month of April and Easter, whatever it is, this, this birth, okay? It is union into action, call now, okay? So get rid of your fears, get rid of your doubts, all that stuff, just go and dive into it, dive into it. But let your heart and your actions and intention align. So it has to be in the moment and it has to be felt within the body and the energy before you do it. 
because that's how you will manifest it. That's how you enter this portal. Okay. And those are seeking guidance. I am available for sessions and I am also offering email readings as well. So I can do them very quickly. Those so that if you want an email reading or a session, I'm available link below. Okay. We have the three of cups on the divine masculine side. Okay. This is about celebration. I'm just going to go into the cards before I give you the definitions of the meaning of them right now. We have the three of cups. This is celebration. This is the holy union. The three cups symbolize the trinity, which is God celebrating with the divine feminine and the divine masculine on the divine masculine side. So the divine masculine is celebrating. The divine masculine energy of action is celebrating. The next card we have is the Knight of Cups. This is about offering the cup to the Divine Feminine, to the Queen, because the Queen is rising right now. The middle center point that is uniting the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, and I'm starting here in the middle, not the top, just to let you know, we have the King of Cups. Big time. This is amazing. Okay, because what's crowning the whole reading is the Union card, which is the Ace of Cups, okay? The overflowing of love with the dove and God gifting the union to the twins. This is God celebrating with the twins, even though there might be only women in this card. We have here, in the center of the reading, in the mid-center, if you see it as a cross or a crossroads, we have the King of Cups. This is huge because the card next to it, now that's the uniting card. The divine feminine has the two of cups. The divine masculine has the knight of cups. Okay. And in the center middle, we have the king of cups on the divine feminine's outer energy. Cause I pulled a card to clarify for both aspects. We have the six of cups and here we have the three of cups, right? And two, two times three is six. So this energy that is coming through right now is this remembering of our childhood dreams, Divine Feminine, remembering our true heart's desire, remembering our Divine Masculine from our dreams when we were very, very young. This is what's been coming up for me as well, like these portal dreams that we ha started having maybe from your teens, maybe from age eight, maybe from age five, like the remembering, okay? That remembering brings more of that love in because that's where it all started, right? When we, when we, when we came to be born here, but it, it started way before that. It's past lives. It's divine queen, divine king. And I really feel the divine queen, the divine feminine is really rising to action right now. And the divine masculine is rising to action right now. So there is this harmony and balance between the three of cups and the six of cups. So it's like the celebrating the portal over here. And then we have the receiving of the six of cups, which is actually a cup of growth and love, which is a beautiful card being offered to the divine feminine, right? So we have the new and the old and every timeline just kind of like going like this right now and the timelines and the energy of the divine feminine and the divine masculine like coming together and the universe kind of making it click for them to meet on the crossroads, right? They're meeting, the, they're meeting each other in the middle and that's actually what I see is the two of cups and the King of Cups, because the King is like kind of waiting. And the interesting thing enough, what actually roots the reading, we have the Queen of Cups. So we have the Ace of Cups, and this is the uniting section, the Kundalini, the Ace of Cups on the top. We have the King of Cups in the middle, and we have the Queen of Cups rooting the reading. Okay, like the way, way down there. So we're entering this portal of union into action. This month is going to bring out ripples of transformation, ripples of union starting to be seen in the physical element, okay? In your physical world, like rising as that star that you came here to be because at 
the bottom of the deck, we have the star, which means a wish is coming true, okay? The wish of union and the weight and all this transformation, because literally, this didn't start just overnight. This started from when you were created, when you created the universe together. This is a universal energy that is coming through very, very powerfully. And we have all these cup cards in the middle of the reading. We have the Three of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups. How beautiful is this? Okay, so there is this offering. And when I look at the Knight of Cups, it's actually going towards the feminine. And then when you look at the card next to the Divine Feminine's column on the outer skirts, we have the Six of Cups. And the cup is being offered. And it's growth and it's fertility because there's a flower that's blooming out of it. And it's in a little old town and there's steps. It's kind of like the Divine Masculine has stepped out of this container he was contained in a sense and he's stepping out to offer the cup through the portal that they walk through together to meet each other to give her the cup of union because the top of the reading we have the ace of cups so this reading is like one of the biggest readings in this journey that we've all been going through on various levels and this is a collective energy so it's going to be received by all of us twin flames in very different dynamic ways. But I see this as this portal, this energy, and I'm like, if I could just, if we could just put them all together, right? We could just put them all together, and I'm going to flip them over, okay? It's kind of like that journey. So the journey of love to union, right, has all been a journey within first, and it's all been this divine balance of divine feminine and divine masculine creating together on a very high energetic plane of the fifth dimension and beyond. And in the third dimension, you have may encountered many counterparts. You have may have encountered different things that have come up. You've encountered your dreams from that space coming into your physical reality. You've encountered many different layers and levels of this in your third dimension. But now we're bringing the fifth dimension of heaven on earth to the physical plane through the dream portal, which is why these cup cards are so important. And I'm going to continue saying, I surge on the uprising wave of love. And this is like super amazing because when I was about 13, 14, 13, I had a dream of my divine masculine. It had all to do with water portals. And so cups and cup cards and water and ocean and music and mermaids and all these symbols and synchronicities have literally like been a part of my journey. So it's really about remembering those symbols from when you were very little and going back to like home internally as that young child who had that imaginary world and bringing that forth and then bringing into your being as where you have grown, what you have done, what you have overcome and realizing the story is changing because the interesting card, and I'm looking at symbols here, that's why I'm kind of going all over the place. The symbols are really popping up differently than they have been before. These are the same cards I've been using for a while. And here we have, I mean, pointed and shown from spirit that there is a new, there is the story that has always been there of divine love is now unfolding. And it's it's kind of like the time is now and it's the wheel of fortune, but I'm being drawn to this sword, which is going towards the eagle. And then we have an angel and they both have books. Okay. So it's almost like the divine feminine, the divine masculine story. It's like, it's an, it's a time of the story of true love and union unfolding in front of our eyes in the physical. Because on the divine masculine side, and I'm going across here now, I'm going from the wheel of fortune all the way up here. This is the divine feminine. This is divine masculine. We have the ace of pentacles. 
So this, this also means fortune and wealth, but it also means being handed the new story of the union, letting go of separation consciousness into oneness, that everything is here to support you into your union with your, with your divine masculine. So we have everything is kind of aligning. We have this card is the first card for the divine masculine. This is like the more rooting card for the divine feminine. So you can see they're synchronizing. It's a coin. This is the wheel of fortune. Here we have two books. So it's time. It is time divine feminine, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to enter this portal of love and for the new story of union to unfold. All that has happened before and all that you heard, you are transforming it. Literally, just like this alchemy of this divine magic is happening. And these cup cards are like the first thing I saw. I'm like, wow, this is big stuff. This is big stuff. So April, get ready, guys and ladies, and divine queens and kings, get ready for it to start to unfold in the physical, and for, like, magical things just to pop up everywhere. It's like magic and love are unfolding. So that is kind of where I wanted to start the reading, but we're going to get into some more juicy bits now. Okay, so the card that crowns the reading is the Ace of Cups. The card below that is the divine eternal lovers rising and coming home to each other. Divine masculine has the ace of, Co ace of pentacles or ace of coins being received. God giving him the physical manifestation of his divine feminine. Divine feminine, it is the world, right? You are the world to your divine masculine and the divine feminine is the world right now. So it is a new energy of love. This is beautiful. Then we go to the next layer. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the beautiful cards of the Two of Cups. Okay. In the middle part, we have the King of Cups. We have this manifestation of love because it is beautiful. We, this is like the card underneath the Ace of Cups in the Kundalini aspect. It's like the union is here. It is happening. It is building. It's not necessarily going to happen overnight, but it could. It just depends on the waves, right? We're entering these portal waves right now in our union. This is where we're headed. We're headed to this. Okay, and the wish will come true. It's just, there is still the journey that is happening, but it's a more magical journey, okay? For some of us, we may come into union, like, right away. And for some of us, it just depends what your belief system is as well, and what you're aligning to right now, and your intention, and your magical manifestation, and where you are in the dimensional aspect of the dream. Because the dream will become the reality, because union is the ultimate dream, into physical manifestation form. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cup, the, the, Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, we have the World, beautiful cards, we have the Ace of Cups, that is, it's kind of like this pyramid if you look at it. It's really cool. It's like, if I could show you, let's see if we can do this. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the World. So it's all the elements coming together. It is a beautiful symphony of love, true love in physical manifestation is earth and water and we have the world and the interesting thing enough is that for the divine feminine we have the world on the top and then we have the beautiful wheel of fortune on the bottom and between that is the two of cups and this is all in the divine feminines so the Divine Feminine has the world at her feet right now. That was such a beautiful moment. The Divine Feminine has the world at her feet. Everything is like the world is her oyster. The Divine Goddess is being born right now in the physical, elemental world. 
this is amazing because it does mirror and reflect this if you look at it. it might look a little differently but these are major arcanas the wheel of fortune and the world and here i see the lion so and the bull amazing and the eagle the golden eagle and i see this the pointing sphinx is pointing towards the golden eagle which is the new story right the new story the new dawning of love and it just started raining which is beautiful we were just talking to cup cards okay let's get into the next level the next level is The next level, the mid-level was the cups, so I showed you those. The next level, which is like the rooting platform, okay, which is really interesting. I pulled a few extra cards for this one. We have the chariot. We have the beautiful chariot moving forward, the divine masculine moving forward. Because if we look at the divine masculine's energy, we have the ace of pentacles. We have the knight of one, uh, the knight of cups, sorry. And then we have the chariot. So interesting energies because if you look at crossing over to the divine feminine, like diagonally, we have the world for the divine feminine and we have the chariot. So there is definite some travel involved in the month of April. Definitely. So movement of them together literally okay because it does cross over on the bottom of the reading with the chariot and the abundance card the fortune card the wheel of fortune so there is abundance flowing there is forward momentum of good fortune there is a new story unfolding for the divine twins i see that here and it is also very reflected towards the divine feminine. It's also abundance because the divine masculine has the ace of coins. The divine feminine, it's like crossing over together. See, it's like they've, it, they've hit that marking cross in the middle of, of the journey, right? And it's the crossroads. So the ace of pentacles, and we just hit 22, which is a great number. The ace of pentacles, the wheel of fortune. Again, movement that's abundance and creation and receiving of the physical union and the new story unfolding of fortune and love and here we have divine feminine the world divine masculine the chariot and it's amazing because they are literally reflecting so much together right now which is a stunning energy like it's going to really unfold beautifully this month this is a powerful reading so then if we cross over to the bottom of the platform, okay, we have the chariot of the divine masculine. And we have a few cards here. I actually, let's see one second, I pulled. So the moon is actually the next card. And we have the solar energy and the lunar energy entering the gateway of the union, the portal. And then we have the wheel of fortune. So this is the uniting card, which is the divine feminine and the divine masculine uniting with solar and lunar, okay? And we had that portal on the energy of the full moon in Libra, which was Venus and Mars merging together in the full moon in a supermoon. And now we're going into the new moon, which is the chapter of it unfolding in the physical. So we're really getting ready for this to happen collectively on a very big scale. And we have the ace of cups and the moon and the cup correspond together. And then we have these beautiful energies of the divine feminine, divine masculine coming home, the king offering the cup, right? And then we have the merging of the energies right here. Stunning. And this is just, you could even look at it like this because the king is with his queen and the cup. So it's stunning because the, the lunar energy is feminine and then the solar energy is masculine. And it's really a stunning, stunning energy. What we have Rooting the reading, I actually pulled three cards. The first card that came up was 
the Four of Wands, which is about the 1111 code, walking through that gateway together. And that's actually mirroring this card of the moon, right? So we have a lot of water energy, and then we have the action energy and the twins coming out on the other side together. The Empress is what is really being aspected right now. So the Empress is about the queen rising, fertility, abundance, creativity, beauty, love. It's Venus, okay? It's beautiful Venus. And Venus this month is really going to be very active, which is stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Right now we have Gemini and Mars, and we have Pi Venus in Pisces. So that's why we have all these cup cards, which is super amazing. So there's a Jupiterian Venusian energy of Mars coming through. That is beautiful of the Divine Queen. So this is really aspecting these cards, the, the Empress, fertility, abundance, creation, love, success, harvesting what you've been waiting for. And the 1111, the stability, love, abundance, family, weddings, like it's all like this Venusian energy is really coming through. And the bottom that is really beautifully coming together is the Queen of Cups. So this is uniting the union, this all that I just talked about. And it's really interesting because below, uh, I'm sorry, above this card of the sun and the moon, which I really see is the, it's the moon card, but we see the sun and the moon merging here. We have the divine masculine and the divine feminine and the king and the queen of water, which is this portal of the uprising surge of love, the wave. We're entering this portal right now. It's stunning. It's so stunning because this is ultimately the journey they've been going through. And this is collectively, okay, it's the Ace of Cups. This is a cup to both of each other. This is the union. So expect some amazing shifts in your reality. Expect to rise like a divine star. Expect energies, but don't like hold it too tightly you need to be in flow because this month is really about flowing with that divine energy of going for what you truly desire going for that and this energy is so stunning and if you'd like a personal reading this is the collective energy i'm available at this time and so looking forward to these magical manifestations coming into this 5d plane that we're creating right now of heaven on earth Union and love is one. Namaste. So much love. There is some powerful stuff going on. So take advantage of it and really trust in your dream because the dream has always been love and union and being your true divine self. And that's ultimately what this journey is about as well. And that will be reflected within you and your twin, mirroring that out when you truly find that space of that divine balance within and that comes and unfolds externally so so much love your way all of you thank you so much and namaste